for me, the most exciting thing is actually that it was reused to bury cats in. This tomb is packed with cat mummies. The downside of being worshipped as a goddess was that it led to cat sacrifice on a huge scale. Pilgrims would buy these cats to give a blood sacrifice. And so for the cat goddess Bastet, you would offer up a cat, which would then be killed. And because it was her titular animal, it would attract her attention in the afterlife. The demand for sacrificial cats became so great, Egyptians were breeding hundreds of thousands of them. People were breeding these animals specifically for sacrifice. So we think that there might have been catteries scattered all over the country where purpose-bred cats were being given to the temples for the priests to sacrifice. This breeding program was so intensive, it may have changed the physical appearance of some cats. Here, this really sweet little paw. It's part of the foreleg of the cat. But what's extraordinary is that you can still see some of the fur here. And it's a ginger kitty. And a lot of the cats in paintings are ginger cats. 